When a Sephora's Mukisa is in pain, as he seeks specialized treatment at the Nairobi West Hospital in Nairobi, events on Sunday evening have left him limping and with bruises on his back. He claims he was hit with a hammer by Busia traffic police officers for refusing to offer a bribe of 2,000 shillings required of every driver passing through the border. I'll come to me and you talk about number plate. I thought it was a joke. He lifted up the hammer, alikuwa nipige kitchen then nikapend, haka nipiga mabega, nikanguka chini. They started beating me up until my colleague who was driving the next truck following me came to ask them what they were doing. The Sunday incident is not the first one according to truckers. Mukisa says in order to go through to the neighboring country Uganda, one has to give a token to the ever hungry officers. Walikuwa wana pitisha magari zile zimetawa pesa. Uh, so that they can cross border on Apewa Hongo. That's easy to Pangalaini. And this is not the first time the Busia border is in the news for all the wrong reasons. Locals and truck drivers say police officers are partly to blame for the ever ending traffic snarlaps that are time stretch for kilometers. Kama hivi ukitoka pare kwa barabara, mita miyamoja utaona askari. Na hakuna vile gali na yazapita pare, kama askari anayona, ijapo kuwa. The truckers protest what they describe as humiliation at the hands of police officers and the double cost of COVID-19 testing imposed on them at the Kenya and Uganda border. The Independent Police Oversight Authority, Ipoa Kakamega Region, has taken up the matter of Joseph and is investigating claims of brutality made by the trucker. Busia County Commander John Nyoike, while speaking to Citizen TV, said investigations have commenced into allegations made against his officers. All right.